Hey everybody, hope everyone is having a great day today. I'm back at you here again at Belmonte Auto with a new vehicle for you guys to take a look at. And let me tell you, I don't think you guys are ready for this one. This thing is super nice. So here we've got a 2014 Mercedes-Benz 550S in the S-Class. We got a 4.6 liter direct injection V8 with a rear wheel drive. And this thing has all the bells and whistles. It is a very luxurious car as well as fast too. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We got a lot to unpack on this one. Got super, super nice uh, kind of brown leather, kind of multi-style too with the texture, leather seats. Um, and believe it or not, all four of the seats in this car do have powered seats and memory seats. So all four of them have exactly this. So that's super cool. You don't see that too often. Um, go ahead and look at the rest of the door while we're here. You got your powered locks, window and mirror controls there. And you got your little uh, trunk button as well as your little storage cubby down there. You got Burmester speakers in here. So this thing does bump. It sounds phenomenal. Um, but let's go ahead and hop right in so we can get a closer look at everything here. Got really nice wood paneled steering wheel. Got the Mercedes Benz logo there. It's pretty neat. Um, you do have controls here on either side as well as your paddle shifters up there. Taking a closer look up on your dash here. Nice big digital dash. Digital dash. It's kind of funny to say. 118,604 miles, so that's not bad at all. You got attached to this screen or next to it, I should say. You got a nice big um, display screen here for your uh, navigation, stereo system, all that good stuff. So you've got this right here that controls it. Um, so you can kind of turn this little mouse pad. You've also got this thing that pops up right here to reveal little uh, keypad there um, but you've got you can see here you got uh, seat uh, seat settings here navigation radio media your phone and your car settings so that's pretty neat so we've got your navigation pulled up right here um, if we pull up the car thing it's pretty cool so you've got all kinds of different settings um, vehicle settings seat settings uh, all kinds of stuff consumption really cool stuff i was kind of flipping through it earlier if you go on your seat settings you can change like you even got a massage on this thing i mean come on you can set up a whole massage while you're driving how cool is that all right so that's super cool that that sold me on the car already but anyway we're gonna keep moving on uh we do have dual climate controls down here and it does work really well it's blowing very cold air right now got the cool little analog clock there um, this vehicle is a push to start, so there is your push to start button, and here is your key fob. I do believe that there is a second one that comes with this as well. Um, moving right down here, you've got a little slide out, a cigarette lighter, 12 volt, little ashtray looking thing. This is kind of cool too, you got your cup holders up here, but then this thing also flips down, so then you got like a storage spot there if you don't want to use that, so that's pretty neat. I thought that was kind of cool and then this also does i believe i don't know how somehow it does slide down though um and then down here we've already taken a look at that stuff and then you've got your sport mode comfort mode eco button over there there's your volume all good stuff um you open up your glove compartment or your center console here from the side got a little remote for the stereo system some plugins down there as well as a couple usb ports and there's a lot of space as well so that's pretty neat um, if we open up the glove box here, we do have your owner's manual. The owner's manual is kind of big, so it doesn't fit in the uh, glove box for some reason. So it's in the trunk, but we do have an owner's manual. Um, this is kind of cool. So I was trying to figure out what this was for a minute and then I realized it was an air freshener. So it's like this like built in air freshener thing. Um, it's kind of cool. So these little things slide out and you can change out the sense or whatever it lights up too. So I thought that was kind of a neat little feature. Um, got the nice leather kind of trim throughout as well as the wood paneling which is really neat. I really like that a lot. Um, got some buttons up here on your rear mirror as well as lights. And we got a lot more around the rest of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and hop out here and take a look. Uh, we do have a heated steering wheel too. There's your heated steering wheel button. Uh, 360 view on the cameras because we do have side cameras as well. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and the trunk here. Take a look. Got turn signal indicators here on the side mirrors as well as um, 
no, fo no focus. Uh, indicators to let you know if there's someone next to you. I don't know why it's not zooming in, the little triangle there, but nonetheless, we shall move on. So here is your trunk space here. You got a pretty good, I'll put it 0.5 so y'all can see a little bit better. Pretty good amount of space. There is that owner's manual I was talking about. And then if we lift this up right here, we got a pretty deep little storage bin with some extra space there. If you want to close it and just press that button right there and it'll close up automatically for you. Boom. Got the nice rims looking good. All right, let's take a look in the back here with the nice, nice leather. Once again, on the doors here, see, just like I told you, you got your powered seats and your memory seats. Oh, and heated and cooling seats back here too. Man, they just did too much on this car. So you got your powered window controls as well. We're gonna go ahead and hop in here. Got some cool things to show you back here as well. First off, coolest well I don't, I don't know about in this car most cars this would be the coolest feature but in this car i don't know got a nice big sunroof as well as a nice little moon roof right here that's awesome it pretty much covers the whole top um, and then you've got these buttons over here which actually can control the cover for it and then you've got one for the side side window here it even covers up that little that little spot there so you got that, and then you've also got one for the very back, and that is all controlled by the back seat passengers, or can be at least, which is really cool. Um, you got standard little cubbies on the back here, both sides, as well as door cubbies. Um, you got AC vents here, a little button to turn it off, storage spot, and then you've got this little pop-out outlets. I'm not really sure what these what these are for on the seat. It might just be design, but I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, up here, I've seen this in a couple Mercedes, but I thought this was also very cool. So you've got your own little mirror back there. Hello, the light. That's pretty neat. And then you got your center seat here, which can drop down, and that functions as cup rest, uh, cup rest, cup holder, armrest, and kind of a center console ordeal check this out this is cool this is not a pass-through cubby so this is actually its own little storage spot you see it's kind of blocked off back there so i thought that was kind of cool too just an own little storage spot back there you can hide your snacks and drinks and stuff um, another cool thing so the seats like i was saying they do adjust so you don't it's not too often you see back seats that kind of sit up you know and you can adjust the headrest all that good stuff you can even adjust the um the bottom part of the seat so you can take that, slide that up and out a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell on video, but just kind of interesting how this car, you can kind of adjust it in any way, which is pretty cool. So one last quick look up at the front here. This thing is super clean. I feel like I am riding in a fancy limousine back here. Tons of space too, if I haven't already mentioned that. So I'm 6'3". Seats are pretty far back and I got tons of headroom. I've probably got like almost a foot over my head. So. Very spacious car, super clean, love the details. We're gonna go ahead and hop out, take a look at the engine before I let you guys go. Got the Mercedes logo there, gotta love that. That V8. Super, super sweet car. So there you have it, folks. That was the 2014 Mercedes Benz S550 S Class here at Belmonte Auto. If you're interested and you would like more information, pictures, and car facts, go ahead and head over to our website at www.belmonteauto.com. Look forward to working with you. Hope to see you there.